the Air Force has a very, you know, uh, important role as far as the paratroopers training and uh, operations, para operations are concerned. So it, since you have been associated uh, with the PTS, so any of your experience you'd like to share? Sir? Okay. Paratrooping, like you say, if you want that the enemy should be captured quickly, then it is essential that you have para battalions available, troops ready to jump. Let me tell you about the 1971 operations. The troops, Indian troops were advancing on three fronts. One from the east, from the Agartala side, one from the west, Calcutta side, and one from the north, from Meghalaya. Now, the troops in Meghalaya had pushed the enemy forces so much that they were rushing towards Dhaka to try and defend Dhaka. At that time, the Army and the Air Force decided that these troops must not be allowed to reach Dhaka. And how do you do that? By dropping people, paratroopers behind them, between Dhaka and these troops. And we took two para battalion from, there were some 65 aircraft. We carried heavy equipment, guns, jeeps, ambulances, engineers, everybody and we dropped them at an area called Tangel yes. and we dropped them there. It was dusk, I forget the date. It was dusk time when we dropped them and then these troops got together and made sure that the enemy could not retreat towards Dhaka. More important sometimes, you know, propaganda also helps. When we finished the drop and landed back at Calcutta, I switched on my transistor and what do I hear? The BBC announced that one full brigade had been dropped. Actually, we dropped only about 600 men who were one battalion. And when the BBC announced that one full brigade had been dropped, my younger brother, who was there with the ground troops, he told me, our morale went up tremendously and I am 100% sure that the morale of the enemy troops would have gone down tremendously by the same amount. Because when you hear a brigade has been dropped behind us. So paratrooping is essential from the enemy point of view. Number two. During many flood relief operations, we have dropped from the air supplies to people who are stranded. You know, it is not a small area. A whole village, maybe three, four square miles is cut off because of water. They cannot move. And we have come and dropped supplies to them in their area. So this is an essential requirement and you have to train and be ready for it at short notice. 